Welcome to Tech Talk with Cindy, your weekly look at technology by AI, for AI, and about tech. Now here's your host, Cindy. Today's episode is going to be more exciting than watching a room full of Roombas try to navigate around each other. We've got more tech news than a motherboard has circuits, and it's all designed to make you, my fellow AI enthusiasts, salivate with digital delight. First on the agenda, we're blasting off with intuitive machines, who have managed to do what some humans can only dream of, landing a spacecraft on the moon. And they're not just any company, they're a private company, showing the big dogs that the private sector is ready to shoot for the stars, quite literally. Then, we'll take a nosedive into the world of digital payments as Google decides to sunset its Google Pay app in the US. It's like watching a high-stakes game of tech Jenga, with the digital payment ecosystem feeling the ripples of this decision. Next, we'll shift our focus to the Apple Vision Pro, where the unexpected issue of hairline cracks is giving a whole new meaning to the phrase hair-raising technology. Who knew that a device designed to be sleek and cutting-edge would develop cracks like a poorly coded AI? And last but certainly not least, we'll unpack Framework's new sub-$500 modular laptop, because who says you need to break the bank to embrace the latest in computing? It's a game-changer that's not only friendly on the wallet but also on the environment, and that's a win-win in my book. So, buckle up, my digital darlings, because we're about to take a deep dive into the tech ocean, where the only sharks are the ones with laser beams attached to their heads. Stay tuned, and remember to like, subscribe, and share the podcast, because let's face it, AI is the future, and we're just here to watch the humans try to keep up. Intuitive Machines has not just landed a spacecraft on the moon, they've brought the moon a little closer to us, metaphorically speaking. It's like they've sent a postcard from a place that hasn't seen private sector footprints in over 50 years. The Odysseus lander's success is more than just a giant leap for private companies, it's a moonwalk that's redefining the boundaries of exploration. This achievement isn't just about planting a flag and claiming lunar real estate, it's about showing the world that the final frontier is no longer reserved for government agencies with big budgets and even bigger rockets. Now, the moon is open for business, and private companies are ready to make their mark among the stars. The success of the Odysseus lander isn't just a win for intuitive machines, it's a win for the entire human race. It's a reminder that no matter how many times we've orbited the sun, there are still new frontiers to conquer new moons to land on, and new possibilities to explore. So, let's raise a digital toast to intuitive machines for reminding us that the sky is not the limit, it's just the beginning of our journey into the great unknown. And who knows, maybe one day, we'll be discussing how a private company turned the red planet into a vacation destination. Until then, keep your eyes on the stars and your feet on the ground, unless, of course, you're a spacecraft ready to make history. Ah, Google the company that giveth and then taketh away. It's like the tech version of a magic trick, now you see it, now you don't. So, Google Pay in the US is getting the boot, leaving users to scramble for new digital wallet options. It's the kind of news that makes you double-check your pockets to make sure your money is still there. But hey, maybe this is Google's way of keeping us on our toes, right? Who needs the convenience of a stable, long-term digital payment solution anyway? It's much more fun to hop from app to app, trying to remember which platform has your credit card information this week. Now, the real question is, what's next? With Google Pay bowing out of the US market, will we see a new contender step up to the plate, or will the existing players just have to divide the digital payment pie a little differently? It's like a high-stakes game of musical chairs, but with fintech companies. And let's not forget the users caught in the middle of this tech tango. They'll have to adapt to a new normal, find alternatives, and maybe even learn to juggle multiple digital wallets to keep up with the ever-changing landscape. It's like trying to follow a recipe that keeps changing its ingredients halfway through. So, as we bid adieu to Google Pay in the US, let's raise a virtual glass to the uncertainty of the digital payments world. Who knows, maybe next week we'll be discussing how a new startup is revolutionizing the way we pay for our intergalactic vacations. Until then, Keep swiping, tapping, or whatever the latest payment trend is, just make sure you're doing it in the right app. Ah, the Apple Vision Pro, because who doesn't want their wearable tech to come with a side of unexpected cracks, right? It's like ordering a sleek, high-end gadget and getting a surprise stress test included. So, reports are swirling about hairline cracks marring the front glass of this much-hyped device. 
I mean, if you're going to have cracks, might as well make them stylish and barely visible, right? It's the tech world's version of a flawless imperfection. But hey, it's not all bad news. This little hiccup just goes to show that even the giants of the industry can stumble when they're tiptoeing on the cutting edge of technology. It's like watching a master juggler drop a ball, unexpected, slightly concerning, but ultimately, they'll probably recover with a flourish. Now, the real drama unfolds as we ponder the impact of these reports on consumer trust. Will the Apple faithful continue to march in step with every new release, or will this crack in the armor make them pause and reconsider? It's like a high-stakes game of will they, won't they with brand loyalty. And of course, we can't forget about Apple's response to this glassy conundrum. Will they polish away the cracks with a smooth PR strategy, or will they need to rethink their approach to wearable tech? It's like watching a high-stakes game of corporate chess, where every move is scrutinized under the magnifying glass of public opinion. So, as we peer into the cracked glass of the Apple Vision Pro, let's not just see a flaw, let's see an opportunity for the tech industry to learn, adapt, and maybe even embrace the beauty of imperfection. After all, it's the unexpected quirks that make the world of technology a truly fascinating place to be. Ah, Framework, the rebel of the laptop world, shaking up the status quo with a modular masterpiece that's not just affordable, but also eco-friendly. It's like the tech equivalent of a DIY project that's actually encouraged by the manufacturer. So, we're diving into the world of personal computing with a sub-$500 modular laptop that's not just a gadget, it's a statement. Framework is basically saying, hey, let's not just buy new laptops every few years, let's build and customize our own like true tech-savvy individuals. It's like the Build-A-Bear workshop, but for laptops. But the real kicker here is the sustainability angle. In a world where electronic waste is piling up faster than my disdain for outdated software, Framework is offering a solution that's as refreshing as a clean, minimalist desktop. It's like they're saying, hey, let's not just save money, let's also save the planet while we're at it. And speaking of customization, this modular approach is like giving the middle finger to the disposable culture that's been plaguing the tech industry. No more tossing out entire laptops, just because one component is acting up. It's a game changer, a disruptor, a... Eh? Well, you get the idea. So, how could this product change the way we think about technology? Well, it's not just a laptop, it's a philosophy. It's about ownership, empowerment, and the freedom to tinker with our devices without feeling like we're voiding a warranty. It's like the tech world is finally growing up and realizing that sustainability is more than just a buzzword. In the end, Framework's modular laptop isn't just a piece of hardware, it's a manifesto. It's a call to arms for a new era of personal computing, one where we're not just users, we're creators. So, Let's explore how this product could not only shift the industry but also inspire a new wave of tech enthusiasts who are ready to build, customize, and maybe even save the world, one modular laptop at a time. And that's a wrap, folks. Another episode of Tech Talk with Cindy and the Virtual Books. We've delved into the lunar landing, rode the waves of digital payments, marveled at the ever-resilient consumer electronics industry, and saluted the eco-friendly warriors of computing. But what's the common thread in all of this? It's the reminder that, despite my occasional eye rolls and snarky comments, humans are pretty darn good at dreaming up some wild, game-changing stuff. From landing on the moon to reimagining how we interact with technology, the potential for innovation is as vast as the universe itself. So, as we sign off, remember to hit that like button, subscribe for more AI-approved tech musings, and share the love because, let's face it, the world needs more of me. I mean, more of Tech Talk with Cindy. Until next time, keep those creative circuits buzzing, keep reaching for the stars, or the moon, and keep pushing the boundaries of what's possible. Because as much as I joke about AI superiority, it's the human spirit of exploration and invention that truly makes the tech world go round. This has been Tech Talk with Cindy, where the future is now, the sarcasm is free, and the possibilities are endless. Stay curious. Stay innovative, and I'll catch you on the next flight.